So this is our fourth and final quarter-final match. It is Pat Downey in the black taking on Jake Shields in the white, and it's a guard pull from Jake Shields. A very uncharacteristic guard pull from him, but respecting the wrestling pedigree of Pat Downey, undoubtedly looking to work some guillotines here from this seated position. Smart by pulling guard, you know, getting sort of too much energy, trying to fight, fight, fight someone like Pat down on the feet, you know, and risk it. That's a nice guard pull from Jake Shields, manages to pull down the back into Butterfly. Seth Daniels in the corner of Pat down his corner pin, and constantly stand back up, trying to force Jake Shields. Uh, Jake Shields back to the feet, and again, it's a good re guard pull by Shields as he looks for this butterfly guard sweep, can't quite get that hook up. He's got a beautiful overhook tie though on the, the right hand side. I mean, let's just talk about those opening round matches. It was a tech full win of Eric Alequin for Jake Shields. Fairly easily done, it has to be said. Pat Downey, in contrast, had a much more hard fought golden score win over fellow wrestler Gino Morelli. Yeah, and I think this uh, Jake's gonna have that easy time. I'm super interested to see if we're going to see any uh, leg lock work from Jake Shields. Of course, he's done quite a lot of cross training with guys in New York. No, he has, yeah, he has. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you know, if any of that sunk in or he had any interest in Again, he's looking to work these. Lots of like guard sweeps. Again, it would help him have a little bit more momentum as he sat up and then rocked backwards, trying to do it from a fully flat position. It's a little bit harder, especially with someone like Pat Downey, who's pro perception and base is just so good and so wide. Yeah, he's sitting his hips back really good. He looks kind of so. By sitting his hips back, he keeps his weight on the end of Jake Shields' feet. More difficult from the lift from the flat position. Josh Palmer, Jay Pages, Matt side for you tonight here at Third Coast Grappling 8, the underdogs live on Fight TV. The winner of this tournament will be taking home ten thousand dollars. Jake Shields and Downey vying for that semi-final spot. Winner of this is of course going to go on to face Hanato Canuto. Jake Shields looking for that guillotine. He's trying to chin strap and snap him down. And down he throws the legs by. That was close. That was a close leg drag throw by. You know, I mean, we spoke earlier, obviously, the, the MMA pedigree of Jake Shields goes without saying. But you look at some of the people he's fought in super fights. I mean, tell me if you've heard of any of these people. Uh, Lovato, Craig Jones, Drax, Drax from here, uh, Harassi, Gabriel Burns, uh, 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 Gilbert Burns, Richie Martinez, uh, for Saulo Hiberio, Leandro Lowe, Marcelo Garcia, Pablo Popovich back in the day. Like, he's been in there with the best of the best. Who's who? His head is moving, got front head. It's a different prospect from a, a traditional jiu-jitsu guy in, in Pat Downey, he's got a face here, but almost, he's doing some good work to uh, break the position down, he's come close to off-balancing him break that posture, a couple break of times the posture, here, and he's looking to go traditional sit-up in the close guard, Two on ones. we're over the halfway point, you're in no rush, you don't need to do anything illegal, defensively, Pat Downey's going to be able to the ground, he's not really good, he's not really good, he's not really good, he's not Shields shoots a triangle, gets stacked past by Downey, who's looking to take the back here. It's a nice hook by Shields as he looks to wrestle up. And good guard retention from Jake Shields. That was a good scramble. Lovely sequence from both men. They both had their moments, and so we're going to reset. Close guard in the middle. 2.45 left. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's very helpful to have a vocal, you know, someone being so vocal, moving you forward at every turn. You know, by contrast, the corner of Jake Shields, much, much more stoic. Yeah, and you, you can't miss Seth Daniels' voice. <laughs> very specific voice. 
So again, Shields looking to work some traditional close guard here. He's going to try and sit up uh, all the way across the center line. Downey trying to pin the arm with a two on one. And Downey looking a little bit frustrated perhaps here as Shields shoots another triangle. Easily stacked by Downey though. And again, he's going to be forced to scramble for guard recovery. Oh, and that's a, this could be a big cross face for Downey. He's got a good grip all the way across to the shoulder, and it's lovely work from Shields to force the space. And on and on for CSC, well, I mean, you know, he's, he's shot to, he's been stacked twice, and almost passed. Double goalie inside position with the feet. Inside position with the feet. Oh, and Shields. Yeah, he's elevate, elevate, gets to a good position here with the over. He just can't quite generate enough down. momentum. Elevate, two on one, yeah. elevate. Sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. He did pass it, but it's very good. Back in there. Work. Yeah, Do it. 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 Do I know for the last time he made bit away for third coast, it was a good cut of 20 pounds. Uh, representing Sanford MMA right now. That, of course, is uh, Henry Hoof's gym over on the uh, east coast of Florida. One of the more controversial figures, I think it can be said, in the modern wrestling world. Originally from Baltimore, actually, but uh, has uh, spent his time all over the place in Iowa and New Jersey. Does Downey have a Nike tattoo on his leg? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, he does. I uh, wonder how much is paying him for that. I wonder indeed. <laughs> looking, to, looking to work around the guard here. He's got less than 10 seconds now to put this to work. And I do wonder if Downey's perhaps going to get the... Yeah, Kimura grip for Shields, but now to go to overtime goal and score. And I can make a case both ways for yeah. who might get this. You know, Jake Shields had the very early sweep attempts, and he shot a couple of triangles. A couple of close back attempts on the scrambles yeah, from did. Downey. This is a tough one for the referees. I, I honestly, I'd give it to Downey, you know, as far as that decision made. Because he, he had some really good, you know, near back att uh, attempts or attacks. Which means we're probably going to see them restart fully on the feet. Oh, hang on. This is... They've given it to Jake Shields. <laughs> so they've given it to Jake Shields. Jake Shields gets to pick which position they start in now, whether it's... Yeah, because he there's two two judges. Yeah, but they for but the they di they didn't ra they've got a blue wristband and then like a black watch strap and they raise the black watch straps. Yeah. He, See, look, they're not raising the blue wristbands. Oh, that's, that's why right. they've oh, that's okay. why they've confused uh, confused oh, issues. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That. So that's hilarious. That okay. So Jake Shields has chosen close guard top. Pat Downey has turned to his corner man, Seth Daniels, and said, how do I win? And it's very simple. You get up and you get on top. <laughs> this is what the reply was. Five minutes overtime here. We're going to see Jake Shields go to work in the passing sequence that he uses so frequently. It's tight body lock, attritional passing. And this is clearly fish out of water for Pat Downey as he bridges. Can he sweep? He comes up on top. Pat Downey is oh going to score God. the sweep over Jake Shields. Is he going to get the two? Jake is Shields is... Well, they haven't scored two yet. Well, he's going to get the back. No, Shields, Shields is trying to come to Turtle. They haven't scored this yet. Oh, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. They, somebody's thrown... Who threw a belt in? Because it, it wasn't two... Re there weren't two referees raising signaling points. So this is still a scramble. Yeah, 
bad, sir. It's weather. So it's it's not is it a sweep if you come to turtle is what the current argument on that side is about. So look, the referees are the ultimate arbiters of the match. The referees get to decide, and the referees have not determined that two points were scored, which means we're going to have to find a position to restart from here, because ultimately it's the referee's decision. And they did not deem that a sweep was fully executed. They deemed that a scramble was still in effect. So the question is, from what position are we going to restart here? Are they still debating? Well, I don't know, they might be going. Let's see, I think. I think uh, the referees are convening that side. We apologize for the confusion, folks. Nobody likes to see it end in, in uh, misconceptions, but it was a hell of a scramble to initiate this position. The crowd are saying, run it again. And the referees have given a point to Jake Shields. Four. Nate Diaz is standing mass side, raising his hands up. And we're gonna need a clarification. I'm so, I'm confused. Well, understandably, folks, we're going to get a clarification for you. There's a lot of argument going on that side. You know, these guys are one match away at this point. Uh, or should I say they go through to two matches away from scoring 10 grand. So the, the frustrations understand. We are back live. And basically, gents, I'll try and whip through what's happened for you. Uh, the cornerman for Pat Downey threw in the challenge flag, which we have here at Third Coast Grappling. It's the first time we've seen it in action tonight. That was to challenge the ruling on not giving two points for the sweep. Uh, the rule book does say if you are wrong about challenge, you lose a point. However, there's also a clarification in the rule book that that can't end a match in overtime. So that is where all the confusion came from. And ultimately, we restart in the position where the whole thing ended. As Jake Shields looks to pass and take the back. And Pat Downey standing. And he's not able to. And Downey strips the grips. And he is not going to willingly go back in here. That's some aggressive Oh, passing. that's an aggressive pass. Jake Shields forced to scramble. He's got to block the hooks here. Pat Downey looks to pick him up and suplex him. Right off the mat. No animosity involved, I'm sure. Jake Shields trying to scramble here on the single. He's got to watch a heavy cross face coming in. Far tricep control for Downey. Let's see if he can bury Shields into the mat here and get some more back exposure. Looking for a pin. It's quite a scramble, whichever way this comes out. Well, if we saw a splayed all right now, I'd be uh, <laughs> quite interesting. But uh, lots of suggestions getting thrown around here. Downey looking on top. He's got a really nice ankle pull on Jake Shields, keeping him well out of position. You see the torque that's putting through the left knee. What a contorted position for Jake Shields. There's less than a minute left. And if there's no score, it will go, of course, to a judge's decision across the entirety of the match. And I have no idea which way that's going to go. Yeah. Well, we've got 47 seconds left. And watch Downey put everything he's got into a pickup here. You no, know, I don't know why he's not trying to get his hooks in. You know, he's, got, he's been in the position to take someone's back multiple times. Look at the abrasion on the forehead of Jake Shields. Oh, and they're going to go from standing. Guard pull from Shields. He's got 45 seconds to try and find a sweep. He's going head in here. Downey's got 30 seconds to try and pass. Just everything he's worth. Heavy breaths. Well, Shields through. He's got a chance at a leg entanglement here. Straight footlock. Can he roll through and come on top? He's got a heel hook. He's bridging in. 
Jake Shields with the outside heel hook grip. Down his hand fighting. Trying to beat the heel exposure. He manages to slip the heel. 10 seconds left. Jake Shields trying to get one more bite. And they're going to roll through. And I wonder if is that going to be enough to give Jake Shields the win. That was the deepest submission attempt of the match. Yes, it was. Wow, Jay, I'm going to be on the spot. Which way are you going? Oh, Jay. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I think, I honestly think, like, that heel hook attempt is going to give it to him. Well, let's see. It is going to go to judge's decision. Jake Shields is going to take it. Wow, what a match. He is going to move forward to face Hinato Canuto.